Marianne is a woman who's been in brokerage in one of the most toughest cities in the world. Will you talk to me about your early days and how you approached this industry and have been so successful? I had an enormous piece of good luck at the beginning of my career in this industry in that I met and was mentored by probably the only woman successful commercial real estate broker, successful meaning at the very t highest level uh, that this market had seen at the time when we got together. And it was in watching Carol Nelson interact, and believe me when I tell you, she suffered all the slings and arrows of sexism, and she walked right through it. She never heard no as an end point. Um, she believed that no was the opening of a conversation. She brought me to the table even when I was a neophyte. So I had a very in early exposure, early in terms of my career, to some of the most sophisticated deals uh, that were done in the market in the 80s and 90s. Tell us how you think we can help change the culture in commercial real estate and include more women. There's a book that I recommend. It's called Women Don't Ask. All I can say is it's, it's sort of a Bible. One of the things that this book talks about is that if you go to work at a place where you don't have at least 15% women in the leadership, you're going to be uncomfortable. And until 35 to 40% of the leadership are women, you're never going to feel completely at home. It has been my exact experience. So I can tell you that no matter how much effort goes into um, uh, bringing women up, these decisions also have to be made at the top level of an organization. And, and that's what I think um, is the essential environment for really giving women the feeling that they belong in our industry. Because I, obviously, I'm an enthusiast for uh, commercial real estate, commercial brokerage, uh, and I think it's a great business for women. Marianne, for the companies that don't have women in those key positions, how would you advise them? When you engage a customer of any kind, whether it's a corporation or an owner, you want to look like your customer, I always say. I had an interesting meeting the other day at what I would have guessed is uh, a um, male-dominated organization. And what fascinated me is that when we walked in the room to make our pitch, there were three men and three women. When we finished, I said, oh, I'm so sorry that we're the first because you won't remember us. And one of the women said, oh, are there other firms coming in whose local CEO is a woman? Uh, and I said, I don't think so. And she said, then you can be sure we're going to remember. And that's what I mean when I say that it is good business to have women on your team. Risk taking is something that's not totally desired by everyone, men and women. What's the one thing you can never be when you're taking a risk? Perfect. If you take a risk by definition, you're doing something outside the box. There aren't any rules that you're following. You're doing something that uh, is undoubtedly going to cause error along the way. I think that's what holds women back. From when they were tots, women are taught that they need to be perfect <laughs> and that they need to be ladies. They're afraid to actually be imperfect. Why does CBRE engage with Crew as such a significant partner? I think there are two reasons for it. One is that CBRE does believe it is good business to promote women in our industry, and they know that Crew is creates a network and an environment and a training forum where women can achieve and they want that fed back into the larger organization. The second is that the women who are members of CREW love it. And CBRE wants to do for its women, and for its men, but for its women in this instance, what gives them joy, what helps them to build their practice. And the membership in CREW does just that. So it's, it's a, a winning relationship for our firm. Thank you and please continue to demonstrate this tremendous value you have as a role model to women in commercial real estate. Gail, right back at you. Thank you. Thank you.